Okay, more adventures in service mount soldering. I got this cute little jellyfish soldering kit uh, off Tindy. Um, by, the guy goes by um, Deshepu on most uh, social media. Um, and so basically it's this little jellyfish head. And he has these little um, rainbow jumper wire cables coming out. So he's having a grand old time. And then what happens is there's gonna be LEDs around here. And it's just like a simple kind of like LED circuit. Uh, so if you need to test a microcontroller or blink or anything like that, you can do it with multiple multicolor LEDs. So it's using 0603 components, hoo -hoo, uh, which should be exciting. So the LEDs go here. And then on the back, we've got the resistors here and the jumper wires will go here. So I'll have to pull back a bit of this wire. So this is the ground pad right here. That'll get the brown cable and then you can see actually on the traces like how the circuit's working so like all of these would be your your digital or your your power ones and then you can see the traces so that that would be the positive uh thing on here so if we flip it over here that means that the uh, positive end of the led will go here and the negative will go here on the edge should be good and then the leds this dude's a saint because like he's spray painted the led packaging to match what color the LED is. So yeah, we've got red, orange, yellow, blue, green, and white. Uh, and that tiny little speck there is the red LED. It's already had quite the adventure uh, where I was just testing the polarity and make sure I was like thinking about it correctly. And uh, whoopsie, it flew away. It flew into my apartment, which is all carpet, like that terrible generic apartment carpet. Uh, and, but I found it. Uh, using my flashlight on my phone. So that was that was good, that was a good victory. And then some slight changes from last time, which was the first time I ever did service mount. I did get some flux, that should help things. And I got some thin uh, solder. It's unleaded, cause I just, I use unleaded solder and I'm not gonna apologize for it. Uh, but anyway, so I think we'll do the LEDs first. They'll flip over. We'll do the resistors and then we'll do the wires. I think that'll be the easiest, easiest way to do things. So let's uh, see how this goes. The completed LED jellyfish. Um, right now I've just got it plugged into an Arduino Uno, as you can see, and I've got all the LEDs um, plugged into some PWM pins. I'm just running a simple fading script to get this. You know, it's interesting. I, I thought the surface mount aspect of it, like the resistors and the LEDs would be the most challenging, but what ended up being the most challenging was getting the wires soldered onto the back, and I don't know why. Uh, I think sometimes you just have to kind of go like, all right, I've lost control of this situation. Um, I, like I tinned the pads and I wasn't really concerned about the wires cause like I've done that, I've done that before. Uh, but it quickly escalated and all of a sudden, like I just had solder everywhere and the wires were bridging each other and it was, it was really bad. I don't know. 
I mean, it works, and I was able to fix it, but, like, at one point, like, because I said I had, like, too much solder, I, like, used a solder sucker, and it, like, sucked up part of the pad for the the yellow uh, LED, and it was kind of a nightmare, but uh, that was that was all me. I mean, everything else is fine, and uh, multimeter was definitely handy in making sure everything was working before I, like, cleaned everything up, because if I hadn't done that, I, I would have, like, plugged it in, and it would have just been, like, no. Yeah, really handy little kit and also a nice little intro to 0603 components, uh, which are, are very, very tiny. Um, uh, but I like that it's just like a, a basic LED circuit and like multiple colors. And I, I can definitely see uh, like in projects how that's gonna be handy. Cause I want to get out the LED, the resistor and like a breadboard and everything. I can just like plug this in and see if what I'm doing is, is working, uh, which is awesome. Uh, and also it's really cute and adorable. Actually, Dave Darko just did a really awesome video where he kind of like went through how the assembly is. I'll, I'll throw that on the end screen thing and also in the description so that when YouTube decides to take away the end screen stuff, it will still be there. I'll also link down to Deshepu's uh, Tindy store as well so you can buy your own. Uh, they're 199 USD. Uh, a do that's a dollar and 99 cents uh, USD, so very affordable. But yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. More adventures in service mount soldering and more on the way. Uh, if you like this video, toss me a thumbs up, leave any questions or comments down below. As I said in the description, I'll have all the, the links you could ever you could ever want or dream of for this kit. Uh, <laughs> thank you for watching. Consider subscribing for more content like this. And until next time, this has been Blitz City DIY.